Hey guys, Mary Jam here, April 29th. So if you guys didn't know, you can make your own vegan mayo. And I make it with uh, my food processor. <laughs> and it's actually from Miwa's Japanese Cooking School. I think I'm pronouncing her name right, but I could be wrong. So it's really easy to make, and I add in um, ground paprika. But I didn't have any rice fritters, so I used Merwin, and it tastes just as good. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before in my channel, but I just wanted to remind people that you can make your own vegan mayo with soft tofu. And this is the only vegan mayo that I make now. The other ones I don't really like. I do want to try the chickpea one by Yin Man's Cooking, but chickpeas are kind of expensive right now, so tofu is actually a lot cheaper. Um, so yeah, because where I get it from is from a uh, Sunrise Market. And then after it's all done, I just put it in a jar, because I made vegan quesadillas, so I wanted mayo with it, but I had to make it first. So, <laughs> but you can make your own vegan mayo. So I'll show you guys the quesadillas once I reheat it up again, but for those that don't know, you can make your own vegan mayo. And remember vegan means no animal products, so I don't eat anything out of uh, animal's butt. <laughs> so that includes eggs and milk, and I don't uh, eat any body parts. Nothing. I don't even have honey. If I have, I have ag uh, agave nectar, I think it's called. Because I don't like maple syrup. <laughs> and people are like, you don't like maple syrup when you're Canadian? I'm like, yep, yeah, don't like it. So, and I'll show you guys the vegan mayo. <laughs> mm. It's so good, I actually have it like this. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I got mail everywhere. Just on the cupboard. But yeah, it's a good trick. I never knew about it until I started watching her channel. And like I said, most of the ingredients you usually have, so it's not that bad. But I am starting to get tired, <laughs> so I might be going to bed soon. Even though I like just woke up. Well, I woke up around... Eight, I think. Eight or seven or eight. Yeah, so almost six hours. Because again, I have chronic fatigue syndrome, so everybody's like, oh, is it your diet? Is it this? Is it that? I'm like, yes, I'm vegan, but I do have enough iron. I go to the doctors and they did all my blood work, so I have enough iron. I actually have more iron than most people, I've been told. Um, I also get B12 because I eat a lot of natural yeast and I also take my B60 pills and I get enough calcium because I take calcium pills but I also use the vegan milk and yeah so and I get enough protein because I take my protein shake and I also eat like a lot of peas, a lot of carrots, a lot of, a lot of vegetables have protein in it. And the other thing is that a lot of vegan products out there already have um, protein in it. So <laughs> I have all that covered. It's, I've never had more energy than I do being a vegan. It's just that now that I have chronic fatigue syndrome, that's why I'm tired all the time. And because I take medication, I'm tired all the time. So. That's why I'm tired all the time. Like I said, it's not like this has just happened. I've had it over six years. I mean, six years. <laughs> Sorry, six years vegan. I've had uh, the unknown chicken condition for almost four years, and the chronic fatigue syndrome that has been a couple of months, but I've had it on and off for like, the past two years. It's just this time it won't go away. So <laughs> I fall asleep everywhere. That's why when I start getting tired, I know I have to go to sleep, otherwise, like I said, I fall asleep when I'm cooking or I'm doing something and that's not good. Or when I'm outside, 
which is why I stay home a lot because it's more for safety issues and it's also too expensive to go out nowadays. So I'm drinking warm water. So yeah, anyways, I get enough stuff being vegan, so like I said, my diet has been so much better. And even if they said, oh, you can't be vegan anymore, I'd still be vegan. I don't care. Because I'm vegan for the animals, not for my health. It's like, just bonus stuff. So, yeah, hope you know. People will never actually stop asking me, do you get enough protein? <laughs> I'm like, I'm six years vegan. That's why I have that shirt, six years vegan, deal with it. <laughs> and eventually I'm going to do a short video on that. I'm being vegan, and yes, I get enough protein, and yes, I get enough of this, because people still don't get it. Anyways, here's the vegan mayo. And like I said, it's, it, uh, gets a better, like, in time in the fridge, but yeah, I love this vegan mayo, it's my favorite. So, from Mila's cooking school, I'll put the link in the description. And then I'll show you guys what I make after I warm it up again, and yeah, so don't worry, just because I'm vegan doesn't mean that I'm not getting enough stuff. <laughs> so once again, I am six years vegan, proud to be vegan, I'm never going back, and this is Vegan Mayo here on Phantom Stories. <laughs>